Squad member Representative Ilhan Omar has been implicated in the ballot harvesting scandal that was uncovered by Project Veritas over the last two days. Yesterday, uh, I'm, I'm sitting at home and I get a, a notification. New Project Veritas video. I actually went through, watched the new video as well as the prior video. And, you know, for all of the information or all the time and effort that we put into Trump's taxes yesterday, the fact that this was not a bigger story is probably the real scandal here. Uh, I'm going to go through a brief article because the Minnesota, <laughs> the Minneapolis Police Department is now looking into this. Uh, I'm not seeing any other news outlets other than Fox News, really, uh, or at least the majors. Um, Fox News, New York Post picks it up. I don't really consider the New York Post like major news. Uh, if, if it doesn't hit, you know, MSNBC, the CNNs, the Foxes, uh, that's that's major to me. Uh, so this seems like not really getting a, a, a enough coverage. So we're going to talk about this. I'm going to tell you guys what I've found. And trust me, uh, this is far more significant than anything that we've talked about um, over the last couple of weeks. And Ooh, ooh, this is this is spicy stuff right here. So give me one second. Uh, first, I'm going to give you guys a brief video from Representative Tulsi Gabbard, who does what you're supposed to do. This is what Joe Biden often fails to do. This is what the Democrats in general, hell, even the Republicans do this. You, you mention an issue. You talk about what the other side is doing wrong, but they don't go any further than that by, like, proposing legislation. Tulsi, you know, someone who has principles and stands for something, well, she actually does that. So uh, not only is she going to give us a brief explanation of ballot harvesting, but she's also going to talk about some le new legislation she's proposing. So let me let you guys take a look at this clip. It's about two minutes. It's a little video she put together on Twitter. And Tulsi, take it away. Hey, everybody. We're getting close. Wait, get you some more value. Closer and closer to Election Day now, and it is critical to... Remember that the strength of our democracy lies in the integrity of our elections, that every one of us has to have faith that our vote will count. But right now, there are still many states in our country that allow for something called ballot harvesting. This is a, a system that allows for third parties to collect and deliver ballots for other people, potentially large numbers of people. Unfortunately, ballot harvesting has allowed for fraud and abuse to occur by those who could tamper with or discard ballots to try to sway an election for or against a certain candidate or party. Now, our vote is our voice. So whether in the midst of a pandemic, as we are now, where mail-in voting is likely to drastically increase, or even in a normal election, no one, no one should get in between a voter in the ballot box. Now, while some states have prohibited vote harvesting or ballot harvesting, many have not, which again allows for abuse from third parties collecting and mishandling ballots. This is something that we've actually seen happen in recent elections. Now, to protect the integrity of our vote in our elections, I've introduced legislation called the Election Fraud Prevention Act with my friend, Representative Rodney Davis. Our bipartisan bill protects the chain of custody for every one of our ballots by prohibiting funding from going to states that allow this practice of ballot harvesting to occur. This bill will actually encourage states to stop this practice that's ripe for fraud and that poses a serious threat to the integrity of our elections. We urge our leaders in Congress to take up this legislation quickly to support and ensure the integrity of our elections. Harry. Tulsi, man, coming through with the fire as usual. Almost makes you want to relocate, you know, to have someone who stands up for something in a position of power uh, where those people with principles should be. Let's take this over to Fox News. They got a nice article. It's not super long, just basically provides a brief update. But in in summary, right, ballot harvesting is, you know, just something, you know, you, maybe you have people in your community who aren't able to. Congressional candidates out there. What's playing? What's playing? Congressional correspondent. You got some people in the community. They're, they're going around. They're picking up these ballots. It's supposed to be something to make it a little bit easier for people probably who, who probably can't get around or something like that. But what's really ended up happening is things have gotten to the point where it seems like a significant population. I think they, the guy said between 
um, it's like a hundred thousand vote demographic that they're really focusing on that they're using in Minneapolis to sway uh, the the electorate. You know, they're really trying to win elections doing this. And what they're essentially doing is often buying votes from people. So uh, people will have these ballots delivered to them. And then it, this this organization, I think it's called the, the DFL, uh, I don't know, what is it called? D- Democratic something, labor group, whatever. But this is a third party. They go around and I guess they're targeting this uh this specifically, they go to this elderly community. These people have these ballots delivered to them. They go and they just take them from them. Um, they ask them for the ballots. These people are from uh, areas where they're used to an oppressive government, so they're not really often, you know, fighting back. They just hand over the ballots, no big deal. And then this group is filling out the ballots and submitting them back on their behalf. And it's <laughs> it's crazy because uh, Project Veritas, you know, they've done some. Uh, I, I really only paid attention to them from the, the, the Trump election. They released some pretty um, damning videos on Hillary Clinton, but I think the timing probably wasn't the best. So this one coming out, you know, about 30, what, 38, 39 days before the election, probably going to resonate a little bit more. Uh, Tulsi stepping up and actually addressing this is going to help give it even more of a push. But we're going to go over the Minneapolis Police Department, where they're standing and kind of... Um, the fact that they've been made aware of this and they're taking this to uh, the next step, which is a criminal investigation. The Minneapolis Police Department is investigating claims by right wing activist group Project Veritas that individuals tied to Rep. Ilhan Omar uh, engaged in illicit or I- illegal ballot harvesting before the election. According to the Minneapolis Star Tribune, the state Supreme Court recently allowed voting to proceed without a three person limit on the number of ballots any one individual can collect. So that's really where this thing started out. Right. Like I mentioned, this policy was probably created uh, to allow, you know, maybe somebody who is uh, a third party to come and pick up like a family's ballots or something like that. You know, three people in a home, you grab them and you take them, you drop them off. Well, what's happened is they've gotten rid of that limit. So uh, in one clip in this video, you literally see this guy with he says like 300 ballots in his car and it's not until you actually see the image of all these ballots like literally he's like probably just grabbing them and throwing them in his car they're all over the dash they're just everywhere um but when you when you consider that this guy's often paying for these ballots between 200 to 800 dollars by the way mike bloomberg i'm gonna need a check if you want my vote um paying between 200 and 800 dollars for these these uh these votes um, in some cases, what they're doing is because these people are, uh, they're, I guess they're Somali refugees or something like that. So um, some of them don't speak the language or some of them do speak the language. But because uh, the, the what's this guy called? What, what would you call him? He's the um, the insider. He's saying that basically everyone is connected, like the people who run the polling places are also the people who are setting this up, who are also in charge of the payments. Uh, so they're all complicit in this. But basically, someone will come in and they'll say, hey, we want to go vote. And they will go into the the voting voting box with them and they will select the person that they're supposed to vote for. And then when they get into the car, they will then pay them for their vote. So this is this is not uh, this is straight criminal. Like there's no if it could go either way. I see it from a different now. This ain't one of those. This ain't one of those. If they can prove that she's tied to this and the people who she works with are tied to this. I, I imagine there's going to be some, um, there's definitely going to be some, some criminal charges being fought. You said they've, they've faked videos on numerous occasions. Well, again, I'm, as I said, if they can corroborate this, this is serious. Okay. This is not, uh, I mean, you literally see the ballots. You see the guy talking. They're talking openly to people um, about, you know, who is involved in this. Oh, no, it's definitely Ilhan Omar. It's definitely her people. Um, Everyone knows this. It's an open secret. Like, they're talking very candidly about this. The one guy, um, you know, I mean, I think the people who are involved in this are probably risking um, criminal charge, facing criminal charges themselves just because, um, you know, they're on tape saying these things. Either way, Minneapolis PD is going to get to the bottom of this pretty quickly. And bravo to Tulsi Gabbard for actually doing something about it. So that's really, you know, <laughs> that's really all that matters, right? You know, if there's an investigation, if there's smoke then and they find fire, then it'll be brought to light. 
And this is what we should be talking about. We shouldn't be talking about, you know, I'm talking about Trump's taxes. Uh, according to Newsweek, Omar's senior communications uh, director, Jeremy Slevin, blasted an investigation as an attempt to delegitimize the election. Notice he didn't deny. The amount of truth to this story is equal to the amount of Donald Trump taxes, <laughs> is equal to the amount Donald Trump paid in taxes uh, of 10 out of the last 15 years, zero, and amplifying a coordinated right-wing campaign to delegitimize a free and fair election this fall might undermine our democracy, he said. Again, I don't know. I'm not an investigator. I'm not a police officer. I'm not an attorney. All I know is if they look into this and they find some kind of truth, there's going to be problems. That's that's what I do know. OK, uh, Trump has already called for this to be looked into. Tulsi is introducing legislation. Like I said, the only news outlet, the only news outlet that I see talking about this is Fox. But I imagine uh, probably not going to talk about this at the debate tonight because it's they're not ready for this. But in the next 48 hours, I expect things to, to get even uh, more heated, not to mention there's probably more, you know what I mean? This is just two, this is video number two. Give me one second. Let me find my notes. Uh, so like I said, they're, they're paying between 200 and $800 for, uh, for the ballots. They're primarily paying the younger people, I guess, because the older people, they just take them from, um, then they said that, uh, you know, again, they're taking these people to the polls. They're making sure they're actually voting for them. And then they pay them cash on the way home. Uh, there's, several different videos of oh, I can't think of this guy's name I can't think of the gentleman's name he's not mentioned here but he he is actually someone who is d directly connected to um is it Omar Jamal oh yeah they talked about how this is connected to the Omar Jamal uh how he won his campaign um they said that there's definitely he's definitely implicated in this they say it's an open secret he reported uh, Omar will do anything she can to get elected. She has hundreds of people on the streets doing this. And again, this is not something that's small. This is supposed to, supposedly a huge, huge operation with hundreds of people. At one point, they mentioned uh, these people come in from different places. It looks like they're being bussed in or something like that. Um, they have um, they're they're registering with fake addresses or whatever. And then when the election's over, these people are gone. So uh, they believe that some of the people who are are taking part in this practice aren't even uh, people who are local to many.